All right, uh, in this one we're going to be looking at this uh, flat screen TV here. It's a Toshiba. Uh, it was in perfectly good working order. Nothing wrong with it. Um, until someone tried to put their fist through the screen here. I don't sure know how well that shows up, but it's properly hoopa duped for sure. Um, but anyways, I figure there's probably uh, probably plenty of good parts I could salvage out of here, and because it's a fairly recent model, it's a 2018. Yeah, October 2018. That's the model number there. I don't know if this is like a Best Buy exclusive or something. I don't know, but uh, I figure it'd be worthwhile to uh, pull the parts out of there and stuff. Might even pull the feet off and stuff. Um, because, it, especially because it's a fairly recent model, there probably be, would be a market for the parts to resell the parts on eBay. So, looks pretty simple to take apart to. And we got maybe you know, a dozen Phillips head screws. So. I'll tear it apart and see what's inside. Alright, so we got the back off pretty easily. So you can see we have the uh, power supply board here all by itself. And I'm not real sure what that would be. Oh, SD card slot? No. Couldn't be. Oh, whatever that thing is. <laughs> And then this is obviously the kind of the main main board, motherboard, whatever. This is, is this the LED driver, maybe? No. TVs are not my not my specialty. I've taken a few of them apart before and fixed a couple here and there, but um, said this time I'm just gonna be scrapping it for parts, so Let's see what I can get off of there. Probably a little remote sensor thing right here. Speakers, those might be saleable by themselves too. So I'm gonna list as many parts as I can. Like I said, the screen, probably toast. I'm probably not gonna bother to try to get the LED strips out of there. They may, they may have survived. You know, they're probably fine. But I don't think it's worth. I'm just gonna get the the circuit boards that are easy to grab here and the speakers. So these uh these ribbon cable connectors are kind of interesting sometimes. Some a lot of times they just push straight in, but like this this is one of the ones that has like a little lock tab. So you just pop that up and then it pretty much just pulls right out of there pretty readily. Very fine pitch on that. That's pretty fine even for a ribbon cable. So these they just come up pretty easily. They just have a little push tab. So I thought these are a little chunkier. The guy okay, right there. And that's all that. Um, I think I twisted that a little bit when I pulled the speakers off. When I pulled the back off the speakers still attached. So I'll probably sell sell it with these cables, I had to guess. This is a power button. This is all is on that little circuit board right there. A little twisted pair. So I don't know. We'll see about that. Like I said I don't know what would make most sense to sell with what. Probably sell the power supply board with this cable, I guess. And then sell this uh the motherboard or maybe with this ribbon cable maybe with this too yeah now i'll sell the motherboard with all the cables and then the power supply board just by itself all right so i got this main board detached there I noticed this ribbon cable has a slightly different kind of connector. It's a squeeze action on the side. It's also just a different type of connector altogether, really. So that's that. Um, I'm thinking I'll sell the infrared sensor, uh, whatever this is. I'll research that a little bit more. Like I said, I think it's. Eh. 
definitely got something to do with the LEDs. But I'll sell everything that the motherboard attaches to and then the power supply board separately. Alright, so I got everything I want out of this TV now. I'm going to save all the screws, just put them in my electronics stock. I'm going to try to sell the feet. I'm going to try to sell the speakers. I'm going to sell, try to sell this uh, the motherboard and the power supply board and the cables. Uh, the little, I think it was the LED driver that was uh, not, uh, that was attached permanently. So there's no way to pull that board without pulling like all the strips too. So the rest of it's going in the electronics recycle, but I'm going to see if I can uh, do an eBay listing for all, all these parts and get them, get a few dollars for, for what was essentially a piece of trash. So.